Hello, this is Me Craft, and today I'm going to be showing how to port forward a Minecraft server using Sky. I did make one video for this before, but people asked me for more in depth, so this is uh, what I'm doing. Okay, so you need a new folder. Have to put your server stuff in, so I'm just going to call that a new server. And then you want to go to your Minecraft website then, on download section, uh, and download both the exe and then the jar okay this right now once you have both the dot exe and the jar I'm gonna put them into your folder like that I believe you need to open the minecraft and scores server dot jar this will take a while to load so while that starts creating the folders, there you go. So it'll say none of RAM, it's failed to load stuff, and then it'll just create the server uh, world. Then just create the world file. So while that uh, does that, it's going to the next step, which is either you can go into start menu, type in run, and then click on run that way, or a lot easier way. I normally use is hold down stop button on your keyboard and press R. And it'll bring it it'll, both ways it'll bring up this little box by here. And then in tune you type in C M D. Okay. And then you, in here you want to type in IP config. And then I'll bring up a whole list then of all your IPs and stuff. Okay, so the main ones we want are the IPv4 address there and the default gateway, which is there. Okay, so what you want to do is f first get your default gateway, so that, go on the internet uh, and type it in. And then if you're with Sky then, which is, for the t which is what the tutorial is for, uh, I'll bring up this. Now I think the default um, thing for this is the username's admin and the password is Sky, I believe, or maybe one two three, or I don't know. You can try a bunch of different ways. Okay, and you click on that, and then I'll take you to this page. First steps. First things first is go on security, then services, and then you want to add custom server or service. Now you can call this whatever you want, I'm just going to call mine Minecraft. And then you want to select this to boat to TCP and UDP. And start import and finish imports are both 25565. Because that's the port for Minecraft. Default port for Minecraft. And you just want to hit apply then. Uh, and then you want to go to firewall rules. And then on the outbound services click on add and then you want to select whichever one you made in the services section and that's my one and put this to allow always let's make sure that's allow always and then just leave everything else then and just hit apply again and then, and then I'll take it back to the screen and then you want to go on the inbound services then and uh, click on add by there Make sure that's selected to the one you made in services again. And then uh, make sure that's allow always. Now here, this is where the IPv4 comes in handy. Because you need to type in the IPv4 address into these boxes. So I'm just going to type mine in now. Um... Make sure you get more right slots, and then hit apply, and then that's it. Then as far as the sky stuff goes, and all you need to do then is just check this is finished. Yeah, stop Minecraft server. Uh, open up server properties, or maybe just say server, depending on how your layout sorted out. Uh, and now in the IP by here, 
you have to type in your IPv4. So I'm just going to type mine in. You should have the dots in there as well because that's definitely needed. Uh, I believe that's correct. Yeah, it looks right. Um, yeah, and people have, be, have asked me before as well how to start your server in offline mode, and that's simply changing this by here to um, false. So that's how you do it, that's quite simple. So then you close that and save it. And that's it for the command section now. All you need to do now is go on the internet and type in what is my IP dot org uh, and then that'll come up with a simple IP and this is the IP that people will type in on their Minecraft to join the server. So if I just put the server up now see so starting Minecraft server on and I'll say the IP selected and then you need to go to your Minecraft then Come on, Minecraft! Load! Seems to have load. There you go. You just want to log in, but if you don't have an account and you just want to test your server, you can just go on offline mode as long as your server is on offline mode as well. And then all you need to do is go onto your server, go onto your multiplayer, add server and then type in then the IP that you got off what is my IP dot org that is very important you need the IP of what is my IP dot org into there and I'll scroll down fingers crossed I should be able to join now can join hmm very strange so maybe because I got other servers hooked up to the same port I don't know. Well, yeah, anyway. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you hope this video helped. Um, yeah, so basically the IPv4 address goes into here. So what I need, I may have typed that in wrong. I don't know. And then this, of course, my IP, that's the new find by there. So, yeah, hope you hope that helped you. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, hope I helped you a lot with more in depth one. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe. And goodbye.